Introducing the new Move Animations Dance HUD with Ooh. auto adding dances, alphabetical search, ah. the ability to make your own dance no playlist with very adaptable HUDs. Let's jump into it. <laughs> awesome. Hi there, everybody. It's me, Cassie. I know it's been a while since my last video, but today's video will be an exciting one as I talk with you about Move's new dance animation HUD. As of this video, we will be looking at version 1.2, though there might be more updates in the future once this HUD is officially launched. This HUD was created by the owner of Move Dance Animations, so it's only fitting we check it out while at his sim because there's some really amazing features in play with this HUD. It's incredible. You can also make playlists into this HUD to have specific styles of dances cycling through it, instead of having separate HUDs for each. We'll get to all that in a moment though. First, let's check out the HUDs themselves. They're rather cute, and a small simple button that doesn't take up too much space on your HUD, which is wonderful. And if you need to res it out, the HUD will automatically grow to be easily found so that you can manually add dances to it. When worn again, it will shrink back to a petite size, making it easy on your screen. Click it and a delightful animation rolls out to have the different icons of the HUD become visible. Going clockwise, we have the main menu, select dance, invite friends, skip forward, play slash stop, skip backwards, access playlists, and sync dancers. You can also click the button again to hide the options and make your HUD less cluttered looking. Once this HUD officially launches, you can get it on sale at 699 linden for each color. And then after the sale, it'll go up to 999 linden. So take advantage of the sale while you can. Each purchase comes with three different types, neon, male, and female, each containing two free dances inside, and these HUDs are copy and modifiable. Now, there's some really cool things about this HUD that other HUDs haven't included. The first one being the ability to find the dances you want through alphabetical search. If you know the name of your dance, you can search by the letter of the dance name in your HUD to play that. Simply click select dance and it will give you the option of clicking grouped letters A through Z or if you click all, it will show all the dances in the HUD. There's also a playlist option. This is my favorite part. You can categorize your dances in this HUD based off of a playlist and here's a quick way how. First off, let's get the dances we want in their own folder, copying them and naming the folder what you'd like to name the playlist. Make a note card as well, and this note card will be the playlist name in the HUD itself. To make the playlist, we will res out this special ball that reads out the names of the animations you put inside. It will post the names all in local as you can see here, and you can right click everything that it pastes into the note card. Simply save, jag both the note card and the dances you picked to add to this playlist to your dance HUD that is resed out. It will automatically configure the dances into the HUD. This can be done with multiple playlists having the same dances in them. As long as the playlist has the name of the dance you want in its note card, it will use that dance when cycling through. Once you've filled the HUD, just right click and pick it up and it's good to go. Now just open up your icon wheel and click the playlist button and it will give you all the options that you made. I made a few here to show you an example. To reset your HUD, never reset it when resed out, only reset it when attached to your HUD. The store also offers a playlist note card for all dances you've already bought in the past to easily make your own.
the final super new thing to this dance HUD is the ability to buy dances and automatically add them to your HUD. If you put on your dance HUD while shopping at Move Animations whenever you buy a dance, whether it be from a multi-animation vendor, a fat pack and bundle vendor, Move Animation dance balls you'll see in clubs, or single dance vendors, it will automatically be added to your HUD with a quick flash of the lights to signal the new addition. It will, of course, also be in your inventory, but it also now will be in the HUD's inventory as well. If you didn't know, any specific move animation dance ball seen in clubs also will let you buy the animations you like if you select them in the dance ball. Simply click and select a dance you'd like to use. If you like it, right click and pay the ball. You can verify by clicking it again to summon up the pop-up blue square to see what dance you grabbed, if you're unsure. Just like in the store, these dances will automatically be added to your warm HUD. This HUD also has, like other dance HUDs do, the ability to wear a dance request spot on your avatar so that people can click it and join the dance with you. You can also invite others to join the dance through the HUD. If you ever want to quit, they can simply type slash 99 stop to do so. You can also manually kick them from the HUD. You can also invite based on the people close to you in your Second Life radar and view the menu to see who is currently dancing with you. Currently in the HUD, you can add, at default, up to 25 people to dance with you at a time, but simply copy more guest scripts in the HUD inventory to add as many as 40 total dancers if you'd like. This HUD also has the basic abilities to skip animations with a forward and back button, synchronize, as well as stop and play, of course. If you stop dancing completely, the other dancers on your HUD will continue the dance until the animation cycle is completely over before stopping as well. There is also an option in the main menu that is called Currently Playing that will let you see which specific dance is currently being used, in case anyone wants to know what it is so they can buy it for themselves. Finally, if there's any reason you need to reset your HUD, please just make sure you do so whilst attached as to not mess up the HUD itself. Keep a copy in your inventory just to be safe. Hope you guys come check out this HUD. It's absolutely amazing. I've been having so much fun with it and playing around with it. Any questions asked in the comments will be answered swiftly. Bye guys.